Now that I'm done with the Heaven's Peak area and I am also done with the tarot customization and the forging, I am ready to find the entrance to the Dwarfland and complete the quests in that area. The entrance to the Dwarfland is at the Evernight Forest, at the exact spot where Oberon was. For now, I find better to summon more brand minions, some greens and a few blues. I'm using blue minions just to ensure that at least I will have the opportunity to resurrect a fallen minion. The Golden Hills is an enormous area, I would say that it's even bigger than the Evernight. The downside for us is that the Dwarves are mighty warriors, so caution is required at the Golden Hills, otherwise you can lose countless minions. At least that's what happened to me when I first visited this area. As you saw, the minions weren't needed at the Evernight, therefore you can summon your minions straight away from this minion pitch. Freezy life force is never bad. There goes the cutscene introduction for the dwarves and a mechanism that we can use in order to kill them. Dwarves like anything that fires or burns, and especially explodes, make that their downfall, sire. Leaving the bomb close to the dwarf won't have the desirable results because he will have time to run away. Just make your minion carry it for a short period of time and when it's about to explode, leave it close to the dwarf. At the Golden Hills, I like to use the Confusion spell against the dwarf archers. The fact that my minions walk in a group behind me means that they can die very quickly from their explosive arrows. It's very important to remember to destroy the houses Otherwise, the dwarves won't stop coming to fight us. Of course, another reason to do that is that we can find plenty gold and weapons for our minions. Sometimes you may need to sweep your minions inside the house in order to destroy it.
Straight ahead, we can find a tower missing object that will increase our mana. I am really trying to show you where you can find all the tower missing objects. And I'm basically thinking about making a special video in which I will only show you where you can find each one of the tower missing objects. Before I told you about the biggest downside of this area, which is the difficult battles. The best thing at Golden Hills is that we can find more than plenty gold and that's very helpful because we need some of it to forge new weapons with the Arcanium Smelter that we will find here. The slugs are something similar with the vermins at the halfing homes. They will always try to kill the dwarfs close to them, like what the vermins did with the halflings. We can always close or open their holes by using nearby objects. First, I want to go from this way and cross a dwarf party. If uh, we want to, we can use that slack hole in our advantage. Basically, if you are patient enough and wait here for a short period of time, then eventually the slugs will do the job for you, but for sure that will take some time. If you decide to fight the dwarves, then you should know that it's going to be a pretty difficult fight, since they will be even stronger because of the beer. Of course, in this case, I'm using the Berserk spell to boost my minions. It's sure that you will lose some minions in this fight. It's better to close the slack hole now. I lost 4 minions in this battle and I can say that I'm pretty satisfied with this number. That's all for today guys about the golden hills. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.